So those who saw Kung Fu Panda, how do they how do they greet? Almost. Believe it. Yes. One fist and one hand. So sometimes actually in China you will see it like this, sometimes they will do like this. Uh, so it's the left hand open and right fist, that's for the gentleman. For the ladies it's the right hand and the left fist. Now that you bring together. And um, so then you bring it together and then you will bow. And that is like the, the basic meeting. Maybe when we have a break, I will show you how to do the meeting into a little different, like in the Mutan Mountain. But I will show you that now. Okay. So, but we we'll do work before the lunch. We we'll just start to do some very basic exercise, so we're not going to do the eight pieces of broken. We'll just do some like very basic exercise, and we'll start to explore a little this walking, because it will give us this like feeling of uh, yin and yang and. Uh, and then after the lunch, then we go into this eight local. So just extend. So maybe we can just like jump a little. Stop. Your knees are bent, no? So always when you're standing in the chihong, you're never standing with the straight legs. Why? Because if I'm standing like this, okay, stand like this, make your legs straight. Now stand like this. What do you feel? When we're like this, it's a bit, we don't have connection with the ground, no? It's a bit like we're on the ground, but we're not connected to the ground. When you're standing like this, there you can feel that there is connection with the ground. If you want to push like your car, you're not going to stand like this. Now you're going to, because you, you want that this uh, grounding. So anything that we're going to do, we will always stand with the knees slightly bent. Okay? It's a little like a arch. Then what we want to do in anything that we're going to do today, in the Qigong or Tai Chi, your body should become one. There's one rule in Tai Chi Chuan that if one part of the body moves, all body moves. This does not exist in Tai Chi. This will exist. We have to become a unit. So if I'm standing here like this, now I'm standing like this. Okay, let's stand very straight like this. Is there a connection? We break the connection here. So again, your body is slightly like this. So they say your back is a bit like a tortoise, tortoise shape. So we're not standing, you know, like you're so standing like this again, it's cut. Again, think about your car. When you want to push your car like this, it's not possible. You want to push like this. So same thing, so here, and then here your body could be like, a bit like this. And then when we use our arms, just think about that. Again, help this and help this. And now if here I'm putting straight, again I'm losing. So even here it will be a little like this. So everything that I'm going to do, see? I'm, I'm losing that. I'm not breaking. Just try to keep that a little in mind. So whenever we're standing, so just jump a little. Now naturally, huh? Spring leg. Spring leg. Yes. And so we just remain like this. Now, breathing. Breathe out. And look, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. And I'm from the side, same here. Up. Now, not. Don't bend your arms. Like 
imagine you're scooping up some water bringing it up and then you have a ball and you take the ball and you push the ball in the water bring it out And as much as possible, relax. We don't want tension. Now we use the minimum effort. You forgot to say your tongue is up. When your tongue is behind your upper palate. Upper palate. slow, you can go a little slower. If you don't have so much breath, you can go a bit faster. You can even when I breathe out, when I come down, my breath is finished. When I breathe in, when I'm up, my breath is finished. your shoulders. Some of you I see this look. No. Relax your shoulders. Now look, we come here. Both hands facing. Breathing. Breathing. Now imagine a ball. It's inflating. And again it's breathing. Do any of you feel something? your hands? Yes. What do you feel? Some energy. Okay. So if you feel that sensation, if you don't feel that sensation, you just like go like this and you just open and you just close. Okay, then don't worry too much, you just do like this. If sensation is there, then look, when I'm going to breathe out, feeling is, you know, at some point it wants to push in the opposite direction. No? So when you start to feel that it's pushing the opposite, just follow and you go in the opposite direction. And then little by little you will feel maybe there's one point, here you can feel it, and maybe at some point you will go a little more and then it's like it's not there anymore. So you just go until you still feel it. You don't want to drop the energy. Okay? And so like how far you go, how far you open and how far you close, it depends on how you feel between your, your hands. Okay? If the energy is more, maybe you can even go until here. You know if you still feel it. But if maybe, and then when you come, okay, you're starting to push. Maybe for some of you, like here, it's up. If you go further, it won't be there anymore. So you adapt. All you feel.
take this boy here, take it to the side, turn, and we bring it to the other side. Turn. If you want, you can breathe in one side. Now look, some of you are doing this. Now you want to take your up so you will put in your shoulder up. No, again, shoulder down. Also, some of you, you want to do like this. Elbow is going up. Elbow down. Shoulders and elbow sink. Now you want to do this. Now you want to do one more thing. Some of you, when you start turning, look at my knees. Okay? No. Like you're sitting on a horse, your legs are not moving. Not? Okay? You're sitting on a horse. <laughs> Yes, like this. Yes. Yes, like this. And last thing, shoulders down, elbows down. We're sitting on our horse. Please don't move. And now look, some of you do this. What a beautiful ball I have. <laughs> no. Keep your, 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 your head is, keeps aligned. Head keeps like straight. Not looking down. Gentlemen, right hand on the left hand. The ladies, you put the left hand on the right hand. And you bring back the energy to lower tanking. And lower tanking is like two fingers uh, below the navel. So you bring it here. And so now you imagine you're a clock. And so for the gentlemen, clockwise, you turn nine times. For the ladies, opposite direction. Nine times. And then nine times opposite direction. And here.
So this is not the Qigong as such. It's just, this is some of the very, very basic uh, movements. And um, what did you experience when you practiced? Oh, the tingling feeling. Um, so what happens if you start to practice these things? So the most important thing is relaxed. You're not putting power. Now, every movement that you're doing, you're using the minimum power, the minimum energy that you need to use. It's relaxed. Second thing is awareness. So one of my masters. He said something I like a lot, so I like to repeat it to, to everybody. Whenever you do Tai Chi, whenever you do Qigong, each and every movement that you're doing, you should taste like a good cup of tea. Like I'm doing this movement. Mm. Enjoy. But tasting means also taste. So it's not only enjoying, it's like, what is inside? And the more you practice, you will start to feel more and more like subtle things which are going on inside. So the one thing which helps us to bring together like the body and the mind is the breath. The so breath should be natural. If your breath is more uh, fast, okay, you can do the movement like this. If at some point your breath starts to become very slow, you can do it like this. The slower you will practice it, the deeper the practice will go. But always it should be natural. It should not be like, and then you don't have breath and you're like, you know, no. So it should always go with your breath, but in a natural way. So when we start to put this like relaxed and the awareness, then actually what starts to happen is that the energy starts to move. So some of you maybe have been practicing lots of yoga and lots of things and so actually energy is already there. So that is why when you start to make movement or then you start to feel you know that there is some energy between your hands or something. Some people if you have like not so good circulation, you have not done anything, maybe at the beginning you don't feel anything. And some people like that will be something, you can feel some tingling feeling, or you may feel that your hands are becoming warm. You know, these things so that what it shows is it starts to circulate. So don't, it's not so important, it's just normal, it will happen. Also maybe if you didn't practice at the beginning when you start to practice, if you practice a lot at some time, maybe you will even see like you start to, like your fingers will maybe start to shake a little bit, this kind of things. That's just because like energy starts to come and it starts to circulate, but then your energy channels are not open. So then you will have, you know, these feelings. It's a bit like um, when you have a, a tree, and thunder will come in the tree, the tree will burn. And you have the same kind of energy, you have like a superconductor, nothing will happen. So in a certain way, like when we do these practices, energy will come, but at the same time we will transform our body. So at the beginning our body is a little like a tree. So whenever you know some energy will come, you know, we will feel it will become hot because friction will be there. And then we may feel some things because... And then little by little the more we practice, like the body will get more and more, like the energy channels will get more refined. And then you don't have that kind of sensation. Other sensations you don't have, but those may be under the Okay, okay now um, we start to do a little of this walking. Okay, so this you can do see with brought the energy up and down. And also you know this uh, like um, girdle energy which we have. And then we started to move it in our body. That's what we basically what we what we did. So now let's just stand. So very often, actually I started immediately like this, so I could have started like this, you know, first going like that. Very often in China when they open something, you know, first we're standing, guji, non-manifest, unity, no separation. And then, see, at the moment I want to do a step, what do I have to do? I have to separate. One will become full, the other one will become empty. So at the moment I'm doing this, I'm starting to enter Taiji, yin yang. Then once I have finished again, I will come back and again the unity is there. So now what we will do is to explore this separating of yin and yang very specifically. 
then. Palm up. Head is like just suspended here, we like a puppet. So the head is a little like this. Shoulders, relax your shoulders. Shoulders fall into the hips. Relax the hips. The hips fall into your knees. Relax the knees. The knees are falling into your feet. And the feet round themselves to the ground. So like a tree, the feet are grounded there. Your head is in the sky. So the Chinese say the human being is the one who is connecting heaven and earth. Like a tree. So just get aware of this axis. Why do you have so much Shiva Lingam? So that is Lingam. It's this axis, it's this connection, it's this pillar. You have to feel this. Now imagine we have some suitcases there. You go down, pick up the suitcases, breathe in. Breathe out. And down. Breathe in. Instead of going down on both legs, you just go on one side. Right, you go down. Left, you become right like elevator. One elevator is going down, the other is going up. And then, and you put it in front, heel, and breathe out. You root this one. Then breathe in. Last. <laughs> 